snap we're back with another marvel snap video as today i got echo well not technically today i got her a few days ago but i am gonna finally showcase a brand new card i mean at least for me and that is none other than echo i actually got this variant right here in case you guys don't know i got two echoes with this week's spotlight because that's that's where my luck is like where i actually when i want a card in the spotlight like really bad I, it's always the fourth pull for me, man. But when I when it's like War Machine, which I was like the only one who wasn't excited about, I get it on the first try. It's just bullshit, dude. We got Sebastian Shaw, and then we got Echo on the Series 4 or 5 random like token one. Or the, the random card. Like this one right here is when we pull Echo, and then like the uh, the variant aligns on the first row for us. And of course, we get it as our third option right before Red Hulk. Like it took us four keys to get this card god fucking damn it and but yeah i was actually really excited to get echo though like i was really looking forward to this card uh because it's a really neat tech card you know cards like shang chi they kind of represent you know the more i guess um underwhelming aspects of the design right like they're a little bit too efficient at what they're doing but echo is a really particularly interesting design that I have been wanting to mess around with for ever since I knew this card existed, basically. One energy, two power. After your opponent plays an ongoing ability here, or an ongoing card here, rather, remove its abilities. In case you're wondering, this effect keeps going for the entire game. It's technically ongoing, but uh, it's not actually ongoing. But it is a permanent effect, and it affects that lane, and people forget about it all the damn time. It's actually crazy. It's actually wild how often people forget about it, but the deck that I thought would suit her perfectly is none other than Cerebro 2. This time, I present you guys what I believe to be the best version of Cerebro 2 in the meta. I put a lot of work figuring out which cards work out best, and I feel like this is just as optimized as it can get. We have a deck built around Cerebro. Ongoing, your highest power cards have plus two power. I've showcased the Cerebro 2 deck on the channel recently with Mabaku, but unfortunately this this deck is called Mabak No because we have to fire Mabaku as uh, he's just uh, honestly <laughs> I, I, I don't I don't I don't want him to look while I'm saying this uh, he's a terrible card even in his pixel form I I just I couldn't I couldn't like I actually was sacrificing quite a bit for it I took out Bird from the deck at one point which is crazy but I wanted to have my locations open for Mabaku to come in, even though that happens one out of 99 games. But uh, yeah, it's we had to move on. I wanted to make an actual, like the best version of Cerebro 2 that I could possibly come up with. And this is what we have here. We have Echo, Nico Minoru, we have Nightcrawler, Goose, Mr. Sinister, Shadow King, Cerebro, Mystique, Brood, Storm, Blue Marvel, and yes, we're playing Eliath. We're a lockdown deck. At the end of the day, that's what I, I'm checking because my, my OBS has been like crashing. So, okay, it's going good. We are a lockdown deck, which means ideally we goose in one location and then we storm the other. That leaves one location wide open for uh, big boy cards to be developed into, right? And this is amazing because by shutting down one location and the other from something like a Hella, in a matchup that would be honestly deemed unwinnable for us because while we do go up in power like generally with with Cerebro mystique we can uh, end up with all of our units representing six power which turns plays like road into 18 which is bonkers right we we're not the most proactively powerful deck in the meta we need tech cards we need to disrupt what the opponent is doing because if both of us are left just playing solitaire we're gonna get out muscled by things especially by decks like hella Right, Hela is just a really tough matchup because uh, she generates really absurd amounts of power, but at the same time, she dodges most techs, right? But she won't dodge the fart. If we manage to get initiative on them, which is not hard to do at all against Hela, and we shut down one location with Goose and the other with Storm, we know exactly where they're playing their Hela, and we can ally with it. And all of a sudden, a matchup that would be deemed unwinnable for us can be rather favorable if we draw the right cards. Obviously, sometimes you know we don't draw Goose, and it's gonna come down to an ally 50-50, but we can try to utilize logic to get there, <laughs> essentially. But that is what Cerebro 2 is: a deck that just spreads out, threatens all three locations 
locations and with our tech cards here we can disrupt where the opponent can we can prevent the opponent from playing cards where they want to play them and then if they're an ongoing driven deck we echo them if they are a big boy you know like a destroyed deck or so any sort of like proactive deck that just goes really tall we shadow king them we got some prime tech cards right here great ways to uh spread out our stats and overall, what I believe to be the best version of the deck, obviously Nightcrawler, you know, having a, it's like a vision in this deck, essentially. So we play that. Nico Minoru can help us draw through our deck. Like her draw spell is so neat here, but also her ability to copy uh, one of the cards that we cop that we play can allow us to uh, get a third potential copy of Cerebro alongside Mystique, which is amazing. And of course, Blue, Blue Marvel. This throws a lot of people off, but three power means that because he's buffing the other cards, every other card will uh, actually align with him at three power and therefore he, he'll join the Cerebro club in Cerebro 2 specifically. But Echo is like the big MVP of this game and the card that I really wanted to showcase as uh, this card, a matchup that would be pretty much unwinnable, which is uh, Living Tribunal, is so easy with this card. <laughs> It's amazing, and it's just so satisfied to play, and it's actually quite funny to see the opponents like actually forget about it as well. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for late daily Marvel Snap content and my end game stuttering. And yeah, I love you. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy the videos. Hope you enjoy the matches. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe it's Eliot instead of Negasonic, just to have that tool. I think I'm gonna try Elias over over Negasonic after, because it is true that I can just like I can storm one lane, I can goose the other, and then I can always I can always Elias or Hella. All right, let's go, Mr. Sinister in the middle, nice and four points on turn two. Gonna likely put us in the lead. Oh my god, I should have echoed. <laughs> Shoulda, coulda, woulda. I want to play Negasonic. I want to nuke him with Negasonic here. Oh, mega lol. Minus 200 IQ player, indeed. <laughs> oh, I mean, I guess it's easy to forget about her. <laughs> like right now. I mean, I mean, ah, oh, oh, they were paranoid. No, oh, no, 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 that's that's bad. That's bad. Wind aid my hand. It's 
fine. Because they magic the storm lane. They don't magic the onslaught citadel, baby. Can I beat this? I'm not sure if I can beat this. But I want to try. I want to try. We are Omega dead. We can we can Shadow King here, which uh, takes away the the boost, right? But then a Silver Surfer here. Like we're not winning the right, but can we win the middle and the left? Oh, the Symbiote loses power though. Fuck me. Yeah, this is copium. Escaped. GG. That allows us to counter uh, Helidex. I know this is taking up a space, but I think it's important for me to place that echo in the middle. That way they can't miss marble. Does the Lyoth make sense? If they play anything into Koning Vats, uh, Echo... I'm gonna skip. I am Iron Man. You got to be kidding me.
Such is my judgment. Well, your judgment sucks. Victory. Judge this. Okay, so that's just chat, being chat, okay. I mean, I, I like the spell on Nico Minoru. They snap. It's a very early snap. I need to storm. I need to draw a storm. Nice. Devil mate, thank you for the raid, buddy. You'll be at a great stream. Um, I think I'm gonna do this. <sighs> what am I gonna focus on? Like, what if they have like an enchantress, you know? Yeah, maybe the echo there was not correct. I just wanted to curve out, but 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 I but it probably was inefficient. Give up on the middle. One, two, three. That's gonna be plus six. So every one of these is gonna be eight power. I could split you into you. If I play Brood. <laughs> They're like, my final card! <laughs> and it's just like, uh, I'm a load, bruh. No, no, fuck this location. Oh, oh, oh. oh snap. Double goose? Storm? Ah, there's my draw. You see? You see? Oh my god, what if I just like... Guys, I think I'm gonna draw... Guys... I think I draw a million if I do this. 
I just draw two? Because I already destroyed it, right? Oh, well. Oh, no. Wind, aid my hand. This is just crazy. The thing is, maybe I'm too... Um... Guys, if I do it like this, um, Cerebro pops first, but then it can move there. Yeah, this is a terrible idea. I just can't, I can't afford to do that. I have to do it like this. Because otherwise, like, Asteroid M would really fuck it up. I think this is so much power, though. So much power. Was it better to, like, mystique the blue marble, though? But it is important to have it to counter... <laughs> We're not going to use that Nico. Um, Monster Metropolis is an issue. Oh, well, guys, Elias. Damn. Double damn. Power Deadpool. Echo can stop, no. If I, if I intend on, I don't have to play this now. I mean, I would like to play it next turn, but I don't have to play this now. Let's just, let's just develop Cerebro. Because if I top deck Storm, I could, um, no, let's just wait. Let's just wait. It's not, this is like, this is terrible though. Like if we, if we cannot draw into Storm,
This is my only play. Because the funny thing is, if I play Cerebro or Mystique, I actually like Monster Metropolis just like ruins everything. So I have to hope that if they play a Killmonger, it's on the left. They snap. All right, all right. Show me what you got. Show me what you got, because I'm going to try to Elias. Um, a Killmonger on the right would be brutal. <laughs> Victory. <laughs> Zap! Zap! Mm. Groot emote usage is low. Okay, I'm actually not using it deliberately because I don't want to be an asshole. Like, like if you cue into me off stream, like I don't like I, I just fist bump. That's all I do. Guys, I, I, I feel like we should be respectful, no? Like, I, I don't know. Mr. Sinister or Aunt Maze would have been amazing if it wasn't for that. Oh, Mil Deus. This is a disaster. This is an actual literal disaster. Like, what do I do? Do I just give up on the Cerebro game plan and I try to... Guys, Cerebro 12. Cerebro 12. Guys, it was a bait. I went to bait out their magic. And preserve my Cerebro. Exactly. I shouldn't have snapped here. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Mount Vesuvius. Oh, my God. Miguel. Miguel. He's going to run. He's going to run. <clears throat> Wind aid my hand. Oh, my fucking God. Must be nice. What hands? Onslaught, we talked about this. You lost your hands years ago! He's, he's, he's lost it, guys. He's lost it. Echo, Elioth is legit. Because now they got to play on the left. It's like, all right, bro. All right, fam. You, you want a tribunal? Hmm? All right. They can't retreat. They can't retreat. Guys, they can't, <laughs> they can't run. <laughs> Sorry. Doesn't Echo work once? Oh, no, sir. No, she doesn't. Will they fist bump back? Victory. Or are they mad? Problem. <laughs> <laughs> 